Cool. The moment of truth. Now, can we get two beard shakes, please? Two beard shakes. <laughs> Here he is, look. Getting sucker. It's time for some meat. Right, so today I turned up in the uh, in the Muskmobile to pick up Josh Goodgen to uh, accompany me on a, a food challenge. How does this thing work? <laughs> Listen, I, I'm not Porsche, right? And there's no way I could figure out how to get into this Tesla. I, I don't understand how it works. This is really fun to this. I was quite keen before I set off. I allotted five minutes to remove any incriminating music from my recently played. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to get anything too embarrassing on there. I was listening to Wet 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 earlier, so. <laughs> Who? So we're on uh, Beard's Spotify list, yeah, and I, uh, I gave him a couple of suggestions. Uh, if you put in meatspin.com. <laughs> Um, For those that have been around a while, you'll have known that we shot Beard's Christmas video. Garlic bread. I was surprised he had got it played. You know the worst thing about that song that we made? Is that because I that's the only thing I've ever bought on iTunes, which you still owe me six and a half pence <laughs> for, by the way. When I get in my car, it auto plays every time and it makes me start to drool. <laughs> Garlic bread. It's gonna be the swing version. Out this Christmas. <laughs> so, frequently asked questions then. Unfortunately, being Mr. Beard's friend, I get asked all the stupid questions that he gets asked on a regular basis. So I figured now was a good time just to throw a few in there while we are stuck in the car. Why are you not fat? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shave your beard? If a dying child was dying and they asked you to shave your beard, would you shave it? They see me like, a, whatever, they'll see me eat for 20 minutes, right? Yep. And it might be 10,000 calories. That's 20 minutes of a 168 hour long week. I'm not doing that every day, right? Yesterday, I ate like, I don't know, 600 calories. That was it for the day. Would you eat a million calories? Could you eat 100 calories of water? What's your favorite type of food to eat? Oh, that's a tough, it, like, that depends on my frame of mind. Probably cheesecake. Are there any foods that you've eaten so much of, you used to love them and now you hate them? What's your least favorite food? Yada, yada, you know, same. All right. Oh, that's, that's the title of the video there. <laughs> Beard crashes Tesla. <laughs> we almost died. So yeah, we're a bit of a maze to get there. Although when I got in the car, the first thing that he said to me was, oh, this place is all right. It's right next door to one where I shot last week. So we'll be able to find it, no bother. Turns out that wasn't true. Shit. Get the full experience here. Extreme driving. I mean, it, it was a bit of an ordeal. Elon Musk's got a lot to answer for, right? I remember driving down here last time thinking this doesn't look right. You shouldn't be able to drive down here. So I don't actually know where how we get to this place called Baba Jacks. I'm gonna whip the old um, Google Maps and see like where where it actually is. We were driving around for ages, and then we had to head out on foot to try and find this place. You feel like a real life vlogger. This, you don't normally do this on your channel, do you? No, no, I, I, don't, I don't do the... This is the behind the scenes though, like, the people what see you rock it up with all your camera gear. After walking about for about 10 minutes, he was adamant that it was up these stairs. Burning those calories off now, you ready? Oh my god. This is a lot of stairs, this. It's unnecessary. But the only thing at the top of these stairs was a primary school, which was kind of weird when you're walking around two grown men. Yeah, it's, ne it's never a good thing when you when you get to the top of the stairs, somewhere you don't know where you're at, and uh, there's a primary school there, You've got two people holding a camera. Needless to say, we had to go back down the stairs and uh, we found the Ram's nuts. Oh, look at the bollocks on that. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of attention to detail, right? No wonder we wanted to go up the stairs just to come down and uh, give the Ram's nuts a rub. I, do you know how many people have probably done that? <laughs> how big were the nuts in that thing, Norman? They, they were like they were the size of its head. <laughs> right, current situation. We're officially lost. Challenge is over. How are you going to do an upload now? I, maybe he's, I hope he's not started the timer now. <laughs> I said we'd be there at one o'clock. Ten past one. Like, it's got to be around here somewhere, I mean. So we eventually found the place and it was out of the way, but Elon needs to sort his user interface out because it couldn't find this car park or the restaurant. I can see it. <sighs> yes, it's down there. We parked at a different car park. This is a perfectly empty car park here. It'd be worse on the way back when I'm full of food. We got to the restaurant. It wasn't the most ideal place for filming, but no, no, they charged up a panel light and just brought it with We could have brought one, I don't, I don't oh, think. I mean, we do with a warm drink, I think. Nice little glass of water. No, 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 no ice. Thanks. No, no ice. Is this as cold as your new studio? Like, oh, this is not that cold. I do so. Thank you very much. Cold as well. Tell you that studio, man. Could have cut, cut glass with these things. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you don't often see with Beard's videos is the whole setup process and everything that goes into actually making these videos. It was quite impressive just to watch him do his thing. 
looking jacked on this angle, lad. Yeah? Yeah, get, get this in your uh, BTS. Yeah, I mean, I don't know something special about that lens, but I, I got, had like a, got a flex on. I never thought I'd see the day that I found somebody that was shorter than Beard. <laughs> so the head chef is also three foot six. Adam's four. Adam's four foot eleven. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why people think that I'm shorter than I actually. I'm like I'm a solid five ten. I've got a bit of a lazy posture, so maybe you say five nine. But Josh is always talking about me being like, I don't know, four foot two, like I'm a garden gnome or something. Those that are watching wondering how tall Beard meets food is. He's a solid four foot eleven. Say <laughs> <laughs> <So he> what? <laughs> This shit's crazy, man. Right, you set up ready to go. How are you feeling? You're confident? Cocked lots, ready to rock. Look, looking jacked there. Oh, yeah, that wasn't intentional. It's like, it's like <laughs> the scene from Transformers, you know, when he's in the car. So after a few attempts at doing the intro and shooting his intro, he finally got into the eating challenge. Papa Jack's picture challenge. We'll take that from the top, I think. And boy, was it a big one. Obviously, he finished the meal. He got his face on the wall of fame and he got a free t-shirt, which was fitting quite snugly after that challenge. Put it on, you're used to it. Mm. Yeah, give me the hat. I can't, can't have this fucking air documented. Definitely not. Of it now, man. Ugh, here we are. Yeah? Thumbs up. How are you feeling, mate? Oh, I feel like I'm trying to hold it in. <laughs> Can you fit a, uh, an infamous beard shake in there? <sighs> Oh, I've always got room for a bitch, yeah. always. <laughs> Fucking animal. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Oh. Been recognised already. It's got a bold well, surely. Right, the moment of truth. Right, go on then. We need to see if they actually answer me. Looking a bit pink there, Ginge. Oh, hey up. <laughs> Hello. Will she know who he is or won't she? Either way, the outcome was always gonna be incredible. Very well, thanks. Can we get two beard shakes, please? <laughs> beard shakes. <laughs> You don't know what that is? I can't believe you don't know what that is. <laughs> I was so happy when she didn't recognise him. Like, I was buzzing because he walked in, full of beans, struts in. He gave people a wave because people recognised him. The lady behind the counter, the in chief. <laughs> it's alright, it's not a beard shake. This is, this is my local, they know down at Cardigan Field. <laughs> I even showed on Instagram, like, look, beards on Instagram. He's on your Instagram, on five guys. Oh, so, wow. Can we get two milkshakes with uh, peanut butter, Oreo, and bacon, please? Yeah? We've got to do cream. Yeah, on both, yeah. So, Beard naturally ordered the beard shakes for us, and even ordered more food. What an animal. Actually, can I get a grilled cheese sandwich as well? How do you feel? I feel a little bit wounded. But they, to be fair, this is not my local, so I mean... I think it's fair, mate. We're still gonna get it. I can't wait to try it, though. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll eat it in the Tesla. What's that? These paper straws. Five guys, if, if you're listening, if you're listening, ditch the paper. I mean, I know plastic is bad for the environment and stuff, but there's got to be a compromise somewhere. The moment of truth, the mighty beard shake. Never going to look back, I'm telling you. You can't even suck it through. Suck a golf ball through a garden <laughs> hose. <laughs> Put your lips into it, son. Oh, that is something else, that, you know. Told you. Bacon. I thought the bacon bits would be weird, but it's almost like, yeah, it's the salted caramel vibe, innit? Sweet and salty. I'm <laughs> shamelessly going in for a... You can't come and you can't come at five guys and just get a milkshake. After what you've just eaten, new animal. <laughs> Catch you on the next one.